you doing? Have a look! Check it out! It's a sea cucumber! That's great, Claire. Can I go now? No, forget this. I've heard that sea cucumbers can help reduce the harmful impacts of climate change. How cool is that? Ah, oh, you're gonna make us do a video on this, aren't you? Uh-huh. are called sea cucumbers. Also known as Bechdemur or Holotherodia. Of the 1,500 species of sea cucumbers that live worldwide, 200 of these can be found within the borders of Australia. In places like our very own Great Barrier Reef. Something pretty astonishing about sea cucumbers is that if they feel threatened, they will expel their internal organs from their body. What a gutsy effort! Remember, when you visit the reef, look but don't touch. Sea cucumbers scavenge for organic matter and waste particles using their protruding, tentacle-like feet that extend from their mouth. They also manage to ingest quite a bit of sand along the way. The sand contains solid calcium carbonate, which, when dissolved in seawater in the form of calcium ions and carbonate ions, can be utilised by marine organisms to form shells, skeletons, scales and teeth. However, oceans are becoming more acidic due to the relentless rise of atmospheric carbon dioxide. As a result, there is less dissolved calcium carbonate available to marine life. You're probably wondering, where do sea cucumbers fit into all of this? Through the process of their digestion, the calcium carbonate in the sand is dissolved and the alkalinity of the immediate marine environment increases. Sea cucumbers help to rebuild reefs, increase nutrient recycling and improve the health of the ocean's water and sand. We'll be conducting an experiment at Cairns Marine to see if sea cucumbers really do change the water chemistry of their environment. We'll test this with two species, Holotheria edulis and Holotheria atra, just so that we have a larger sample size. Awesome! Let's get these samples sent off to the lab. After five days, the calcium carbonate in both tanks with eight sea cucumbers increased from 120 milligrams per litre to 130 milligrams per litre, while the tank with no sea cucumbers remained constant. Who would have thought that sea cucumbers could help save coral reefs? Though unfortunately, some of the little species are actually becoming endangered. Yeah, aren't they considered a delicacy in some cultures? As cool as they are, I wouldn't want to have one for dinner. Yeah, they're as cool as a cucumber.